Hi, I'm Paul. I'm a simulation technologist here at Frimley Park Hospital. And I'm just gonna pop into the cab of this ambulance to chat to you. So in critical care transfers, it's really important for the clinicians that are with the patient to be able to see whether the patient's chest drain is bubbling and moving or not. How do we simulate that when we're simulating a critical care patient transfer? Well, I'm in the CCAM simulance today and I'll show you a little device that we've made to allow us to be able to simulate that process of a chest drain bubbling and moving and then not bubbling and moving. Let's go in the back and have a look, shall we? So here's the outside of the simulance. Let's go in and have a look at that chest drain. So here's our sim man. And as you see, underneath the sim man, we have the chest drain, which looks like a normal chest drain. And what Mark from CCAM is going to do is you'll notice he's got a little, little bag valve mask there that he's going to squeeze. And when he squeezes it, hopefully, if I zoom in closely, you should just be able to see and hear bubbles. So this means the facilitator can sit on the seat here and the candidates are sitting where I'm sitting and this seat and they will be able to check whether the chest drain is bubbling or not and the facilitator can then squeeze the bag valve mask and make it bubble or not as the case may be. So a real simple way of doing it. All we've effectively done is got a tube that goes all the way around to the back to a little paediatric bag valve mask and we just hide that from the candidates. So an excellent little simulation trick there. See you, Mark. See ya. Yeah.